Robotic Bay, which, which was completely uh, non-utilized this game. Still no... Oh, we do have Corruptors going. We have six Corruptors coming out. The Hapro getting a lot of money. Maybe going to turn these all into um, Broodlords. Hasu sitting at not that much money at all. Andy Supply locked. Uh, Hasu 115, Hapro 142. So Hapro has a clear economic advantage, showing what Zerg can do when you let him macro. So these Corruptors are going to probably sit back here, turn to Broodlords, and come over this ground. Very uh, interesting play here. Oh, they're going to spot this expansion going down. Looks like Hasu going to do another base race. Uh, so get Proxy Pilot over there. He's going to go and kill this base for Hapro 2. going to force Hapro off two bases, one of which he's not even mining. Uh, and this base is going to be almost done. But Hapro does have six Broodlords morphing in, four Corruptors coming in. He has the much bigger army. He's almost got a 50 food lead. Hasu is off two bases now, so he's going to be momentarily off more bases mining than the Zerg once, until the Zerg saturates us with all these drones. And where these, these Broodlords are going to come in, they are going to hit this from behind, going to kill a lot of probes. Uh, Mido is going to come in to be uh, the protection, and I think Hapro is going to be able to take it, uh, Hasu with this air army once Mido is get here. Uh, Broodlings going to come in. Uh, Broodlings do outrange for static defenses like this. They're slowly going to kill off these similar head and rest of buildings. Very spread out Broodlings too, though, I guess, avoiding the storm. Stalkers are going to blink down now, though. Angus starts to sniping Broodlings. We'd like to see the Mutalists come in and take out these Stalkers. I think the Mutalists, with the Broodlord support, could kill all these Stalkers, but we will see. Uh, more Broodlords getting sniped, but the Mutalists coming in. Nice Storm going to push them away, but the Broodlords are able to sit back and just bombard it with Broodlings. Stalkers target fighting the Broodlings. Ah! Uh, Mutalists. This is a very close battle. Broodlords are slowly getting sniped as the Mutalists have to dodge storms. It looks like the last Broodlord is going to go down. And what do we have coming out? We have an Ultralis Cavern coming out. So hey, we're going to switch to Ultralis again. Hasu coming out the clear victor in that battle, taking all the Broodlords. Only at a 10 food gap now, though, and off the same, after off more mining bases than Hapro is, though. So Hasu completely turning that game around with some good Stalker micro, some target firing on the uh, Broodlords with the Stalkers, and some storms to keep the Mutalis away. He's down. A lot of Templar. Looks like it's going to come in here. Destroy the Spine Crawlers, is he? Mutalis coming in. Uh, this expansion for Hapro is going down again, so it looks like he's going to try to get back on even turns with Hasu. Economically, Hasu's not mining gas off either of those geysers, and not all this one either. So Hasu switching completely to mineral heaviness, I guess. He is going to push for the Zerg juggler going in straight off the bat. We do have five more Broodlords coming in. They did just get canceled, so maybe a misclick from Hapro. These drones all getting sniped. Hasu probably realizing that this base is up now, and the Hapro still hasn't destroyed these rocks. So let's see him just use the spine crawlers to destroy these rocks. We'll make the drone travel time a lot quicker. And we do have the Broodlords finally coming again. Hasu going to push. Uh, hey, we're going to come back and try to defend, but this is so many spine crawlers. Wow. Are these mutants going to get any snipe on the Templar? They are going to get one Templar. Storm comes back, though, kills one or two. Stalkers get two more. Where are the Broodlords coming? I would like to know where they are. They're going to be a very important factor in this final battle of death. Where the heck are you, Broodlords? Broodlords! Oh, yeah, the Oxen Free. Oh, here they are, sitting by this base. Maybe Hey, are waiting until this base gets attacked. Uh, Hostu can come in here with a bunch of Stalkers. They're chasing the mutants away. As these zealots follow around, saying, We can't do anything this game. Choke here is going to favor uh, Hapro. These Broodlords are going to come in, are going to get some nice shots. All the Stalkers are caught in the mineral line. Very good positioning by the Broodlords, as it means it's coming from behind. Hasu's attention being, attention being completely used up on the Templar storming. So the Broodlords are going to get several free kills off on the Stalkers. Uh, Hasu is going to sit now at 120 men, while Hapro at 127. So very close. Both players just macroing up another army. Nice storms going down here, but a lot of Templar are getting sniped. Me Stalkers blinking back, though, are going to take the Mutalists as they get over the Templar. We have a few Ultras morphing in now, though, so Hapro are going to try to do the tech switch into the win. Going to maybe try to hold off with his Broodlords and whatnot. Nice cannon placement here from Hasu. A very late game cannon rush. Hapro still not using these spine cores to destroy this wreck. He's going to use drones instead. Definitely think drones could have been used better elsewhere. Anywho, we do have the expansion done for Hapro now. These are going to destroy but these cannons up here. Are going to completely deny. It's going to be a nasty surprise for Hapro. We do have Hasu getting another base. Someone pinging here. Yes, spectator, there's stuff here, and you didn't leave when Hasu commanded you to leave now. Spectator, you deserve to die. So we are going to have Zerglings coming here now. Though great sense from Hapro though. Uh, scouting the expansion, going to kill the pro. Eventually going to kill this. Uh, Hasu going to decide to base race again though. Maybe with this expansion over here. More zealots going to come over here, try to kill this base, but to no avail. These photon cannons finally getting kills. We have a pretty big uh, Hapro's Mutalist forces over there. Where are his Ultras? Ultras on the ramp over here. Hapro not making much though, despite his large money and low army size. He's at 114, Hasu at 135, so it looks like Hasu uh, getting the better macro this time, despite Hapro's best efforts. Is he going to snipe that probe? 
No, he's not. Uh, ooh, he's going to go for this base over here, which his Zerglings are currently killing. Are the Mios going to be able to get there in time? Probably, since this army from Hasu did misclick for a second. Looks like this next is going to go down in a swarm of Glaive or Mutalis. Uh, there it goes, and we do have these rocks not getting destroyed by these drones yet. These spine crawlers really need to help their drone friends out. These spine crawlers have done absolutely nothing. Do work. More broodlords just kind of sitting over this expansion. Hey, bro, realizing, hey, this is the only mining expansion to protect this broodlords. He's, however, getting gas from his natural. Still, expansion trying to go down again for Hasu, who's extremely mineral heavy, probably because he's not mining any of these guys. Oh, he is mining geysers now. Not this one still. That geyser's the odd man out. More ultras going down. We have a s two stargates going on for Hasu. So we're going to tech switch probably in Phoenix to take out the Broodlords and the Mutalists. Maybe into Void Rays, though, to take out the Ultras. I don't know if he scouted that yet or not. Space is going to go down again. Does it get cancelled? I don't... Uh, I don't know. Very hard to tell with Protoss buildings if they get cancelled or not. The Zerg buildings is easiest because the drone's left over. We have Void Rays coming out, so very good counter these Ultras. However, Blink Stalkers would be fine, too. Stalker's going to try to corner the Mutalists. How many Mutalists are left now? We only have 16 Mutalists left, though. Five Broodlords. Ultra is getting their armor upgraded, though. And this is a large army for Hasu. Hasu's sitting at 142. Heypro is sitting also at 142. But Heypro is only off one base at the moment. Hasu is only off one base, too, but he's off a, go off a gold. And Protoss off one base. Much more effective than Zergar. So finally, this base trying to get secured for Heypro, but a great storm going down there, killing several Mutalists, wounding all the others into the orange makes them highly ineffective versus this many stalkers. Egg is getting sniped too, I wonder what was in them, probably just drones. So, then, so it looks like Heypro is going to try to hide his Ultras until he has enough that he can just steamroll the Protoss player. like that call here though, with Blink Stalkers, very good against Ultras, especially Void Rays coming, where are the Void Rays? Donde están los Void Rays? Ooh, the rest of this Mutalists are going to get sniped here. This Mutalists sole survivor with 3 HP. Oh, ran right into a cannon! That was just a wah, wah, wah kind of situation right there. Hasu's last cannon just boom, killing it. So Hasu now 157. Heypro sadly sitting at 128. Hasu out macroing Heypro. Looks like this game is going to end in Hasu's favor. He is going for the last mining base. These Broodlords are here to defend it, and maybe the Ultralis will come in. Get to see some really epic uh, endgame tier Zerg action. But two Void Rays coming in. Hasu has its, or Heypro has nothing that can attack air, not even the queen at this base. These Void Rays are just going to completely destroy the entire base. Queen finally being made, but the Void Rays are charged up. Looks like the Void Rays are going to win it for Hasu here, though. Absolutely no air, anti-air for Heypro. This Broodlord's going to absolutely snipe. And the Ultras are going to come in here now, see what they can do, but Void Rays will kill as many Ultras as there is time. We have a fleet beacon going down, so maybe eventually carries. These Ultras are going to back out, actually. Do not Hasu just about has his last or his uh, next base up. I've lost track at this point. Hey Pro GG's realizing that he just lost his last mining base. A very good game there. Kind of the opposite of last game with the macro for both players. Anywho, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I only have like two subscribers at this point, making me feel very bad in my self esteem. Please don't flame or say anything inappropriate or racist in your comments. I don't like that stuff. And by rate, I mean rate me good so I get more views on the YouTube. And who? I'm MD Starcraft, and I am out.